Hey guys, welcome and thank you guys so much for supporting 1HP for this eSports health walkthrough. This video is designed to better help you manage your thumb pain as a gamer and whether it be falcon thumb or PC related thumb pain, this walkthrough is specific to pain in this area. And for those that want to understand your pain in the thumb more holistically, feel free to check out our four part series which gives you the entire picture and how we approach thumb pain that's tendon related. Today I'm going to be going through a 9 minute series of stretches, self massage techniques and exercises which address the underlying issues that cause this type of thumb pain as a gamer. And those are things like flexibility, strength, endurance and coordination of the muscles of our wrist and thumb. I want you guys to treat this routine as an injury prevention and management routine that you guys will be performing either after your gaming session or 1-2 to two hours aside from when you play, so morning or nighttime. And the idea is that we don't want to fatigue your muscles just before you play, but also we don't want to have your gaming session irritate the tendon a little more. Just a reminder, this is a walkthrough, so we're going to be going through the entire exercise routine with you, the whole 9 minutes. So let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is open our chest up and work on our postural muscles that prevent the rounding of your shoulders. This exercise also works to improve breathing through better rib cage expansion. Start with your hands behind your head, elbows in front, shoulders rounded. Take a deep breath as you bring your chest up. Push your elbows back while squeezing your shoulder blades. And while holding your breath, reach all the way up towards the ceiling and back down. And then exhale as your elbows come forward. After initially working on a posture, we're going to do a self-massage technique to now target and relax the specific muscle overused with thumb pain near the back side of the wrist. This will also address any potential adhesions that may have built up between the layers of the tissues as a result of improper healing. In order to do this exercise, apply pressure in the area shown along the muscles and work towards the wrist. If you find a tender spot, Hang out on that area with sustained pressure until the tenderness reduces or you feel slight relaxation, which can take 5 to 10 seconds. And we're going to be doing this for a total of 1 minute on each side. Again, we're going to be performing the same self-massage technique on the left side. Start at the beginning of where the muscle is, as shown in the picture, and move down towards the wrist. Be sure to hang out if there's any tender point to allow the muscle to relax. Next, we're going to be performing a couple of stretches targeting both the grip muscles of the forearm along with the specific muscles attached to the tendon causing your thumb pain. The main purpose is to allow these muscles to relax and also facilitate proper healing if minor strain is present. To do this exercise, grab the first three fingers, your index, your middle, and your ring, which are the muscles that we use the most commonly when holding the mouse, and your keyboard and pull them down towards the ground with your elbow straight and your palm facing down. You should feel this stretch along the top side of your forearm towards the
down while the thumb is providing resistance upward while bending. Perform as many reps as you can in 30 seconds. This exercise works on the specific muscles which move the thumb in the direction of extension. And we're going to be repeating this exercise twice on each side to build endurance. So again, we're going to be repeating this exercise on both sides so we can build up the endurance of these thumb muscles. And you might feel some soreness while you are doing this exercise, and it's okay to take a break to ensure that you're not causing your tendons to be a little more irritated. With exercise that target the tendon tissue, it's okay to feel a 3 out of 10 while you're performing the exercise. But if you feel any sharpness or anything more than a 3 out of 10, I encourage you to take a couple breaks in between the repetition. Next up, we're going to be working on our wrist muscles, and you can perform this exercise with a band, a dumbbell, or without any weights. It is best to grab something to provide resistance, even if it's a can of soup. But for this video, we're going to be using a dumbbell, and I'll also show you ways to do it without any weight. So here I am performing this exercise with a dumbbell, and you're going to be using either the armrest or the edge of your table for this exercise and starting with your palm facing down and you're going to bring your wrist all the way up towards the ceiling while holding the dumbbell or theraband and if not just keep your hands straight as shown perform this exercise slowly counting two seconds up and two seconds down and do as many as you can in the 30 seconds for each hand So here it is on the other side. Again, make sure you're slowly moving up and slowly moving down, counting about two seconds to go all the way up and two seconds to come all the way down. And this is the last exercise, so finish strong. Hey guys, thank you so much for supporting 1HP for this walkthrough. I just want to remind you guys, this is only one part of the entire picture for management of thumb pain or wrist pain in this area. And while this routine will provide a lot of relief over time, we have to approach any injury, especially pain, with a more holistic approach. And you guys can always check out that four part series that I mentioned before to have a better understanding of this. So thank you guys again and be sure to share this piece of content, this product with anyone you feel like might benefit from it. Share 1HP, share any of our pieces of content. We want to help you guys live well so you can game well and also play more and hurt less. Oh, be sure and check out our bonus content. We include some short term methods of relief for your pain as well as some other considerations you guys have to take to help relieve your pain a little more. I also touch on something I feel like every gamer needs to know when dealing with any injury. So be sure to check that out and thanks again.